No, y'all must be like, yo, where have you been? Like, you ain't give us no update. The last time we seen you, you clearly had blue hair. Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl, Makeup by Sunrise. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hey, what's up? Make sure you click that red button down below to subscribe, to join a crew, and know what's going on with me always. Today, we're going to be doing the perfect full makeup. So as you can see, I've changed the color of my hair <laughs> since the last time you see me. It's now uh, like a natural ginger color. I actually did the same process what I did in my indigo blue. It's just that instead of using the indigo, indigo blue hair dye, I used cinnamon by Adore, and this is how my hair came out. So first things first, we're going to be doing the brows. So off camera, I already like did my whole skincare routine. If you guys haven't seen that video about my skincare routine, I will link it down below and above somewhere here in the video. But the first product I'm going to be using is the NYX eyebrow pencil which I find very very helpful for me before when I used to do my brows I used a regular um black eyeliner pencil and you know back in the days my brows would be like really really super dark and sharp I mean sometimes I still go for that little aesthetic depending on the look I go for but as of recently um especially since I've like cut my hair I like my brows to be like really light and still sharp so this pencil gives me a lot of precision um precision and you know just an easy hand for me to just go ahead and fill in my brows really lightly as well my brows look really really short <laughs> and that's because naturally i really don't have thick eyebrows like that but they for some reason over the summer when i like cut the ends off of it all of a sudden my brows wanted to go back really really super thick because I had them really straight because I love Doja Cat and I love how her eyebrows look so I was rocking that little straight eyebrow look for a while so now I'm just going back to basics with a little small arch brows or whatever you want to call it so this is a tool that I use next you'll see me um come back on camera and I basically just use some concealer to clean up underneath my brows because the main thing that I love about using this pencil I don't have to do too much cleaning up because it's so small and I, I just basically know where I'm going with the pencil so that's what I love the most so after I've done concealed my eyebrows I'm gonna use that same concealer which is the Fenty Beauty concealer in shade 445 to basically create um, a clean eyeshadow base for my eye look so I'm gonna go in with my damp beauty blender from real techniques and blend that out and then I think I added a little bit more coverage on it so I added a little bit more concealer after that and then um, I just blended it out and then I'm gonna set that concealer with some Laura Mercier um, transition not transition now translucent powder so um another technique that i've learned recently like just from watching other youtube videos and like from different makeup artists uh one in particular is setting the concealer and i've noticed a great difference when you set your concealer on your eye looks because then your shadows don't move around and look all wishy-washy and you know sometimes when you put on a shadow on top of concealer like you miss a spot and it has like that little damp spot from the concealer in between your crease especially for myself what i've noticed because i do have hooded eyes so i noticed that does have a little um that does be happening to me so now i just set my eyes and the shadows come up really really smooth and they're so much better to to blend out especially when i want to do like a soft matte look just to have that really really soft blown out um like shadows it comes out so much better
Now on to the eyeshadows. Today I'm going to be using three palettes. So I'm going to be using the City Mini Maybelline palette. Um, that's the collaboration with Makeup Shayla. Along with the Smashbox Cosmetics Minimalist Eye Palette. And Elf Cosmetics Earth and Ocean Palette. Which is something that I picked up recently. And I can say that eyeshadow palette is so bomb. When I tell you the colors in there, just oh my god. Anyway, let me just show y'all what's going on. So first up, I'm using the City Mini palette. And I'm going in with that brown shadow that's more of a warm tone that has a little bit of a reddish undertone. Kind of like my backdrop color. And I'm using a blending brush just to apply that color. Um, at first, I went into my crease with it, just straight across, and then eventually, um, I blew out the color. So, what I wanted to do is make sure that I packed on enough color in my crease, and then afterwards, don't put on no more product onto the brush. Just continue to use whatever leftover product is there, and gradually blend out the edges, and you'll see that... The shadow is going to grow upward towards my brow bone gradually and really, really soft. For the second palette, we're going to go in with the Smashbox Cosmetics Minimalist Eyeshadow Palette. We're going to go over to that third shade at the bottom, which is a dark brown. It's darker than the brown that we used from the first palette. This one has more of a dark gray undertone. It's more of a cool brown compared to that warm brown that we first used. So I'm using a smaller detailer brush to go right on top of the crease again. However, this time I'm just going to be using the brush at the very corners of my eye. You'll see I don't, I don't really go halfway. It's more of like maybe a quarter across my eye because I really wanted this to keep it on the corners to give more of a dark smoky effect. So I did that on the both sides of my eye and then we're going to move on to the next palette.
So for our final eyeshadow color that we're going to add on is from the e.l.f. Cosmetics Earth and Ocean Palette. I'm going to tap into that shade called Gold Rush. So I really wanted to get a similar color to my sweater and the sunflowers in the background that's having like that really, you know, goldy kind of honey mustard kind of color. <laughs> so I'm going to use my finger to tap on that color. And the reason why sometimes you just got to use your finger to apply your eyeshadow is because you want to get the most color payoff, especially with a shimmer. And with this palette, the shimmers that are in here, because it's really a cross between soft shimmer colors and soft mattes, I really wanted to show you guys how bright this gold color is. And it's gorgeous gorgeous so you'll see me do like a tap in motion to apply the color first and then you'll see me do like a small swipe and then i'm gonna go in with a small um a really really small eyeshadow detailer brush to just get in the inner corners of my eyes and that's it for the eye look i'm just gonna add my eyeliner which is basically the elf cosmetics matte um black eyeliner and then I also use some regular eyeliner on my waterline for, you know, just to wrap up the eye look and make it look real smoky and, you know, just that kind of vibe. And then we are going to move on to the face. For the most part, the eye look is complete for right now. We're going to come back a little bit later and add the shadows underneath the waterline, put on the mascara, the lashes, all that other good stuff. But for right now, we're going to get into the face products. So I'm going to use the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas Primer and a paintbrush to basically just spread out the product. And I use this method because it just makes my skin look flawless okay don't sleep on the paint brushes this paint brush is from a set that i got from michael's and sometimes um depending on the other brushes that i have too i use them for cut creases i think i've used them for cut crease before in like a previous video something like that and when i tell you the precision of using like a paintbrush not this one but uh another one that i use because it's much smaller and the edges are curved it's so much better than using a regular um like flat concealer brush to do a cut crease because it is so sharp 
so so short but anyways this is about the face so we're gonna get into foundation and concealer which is by fenty beauty shade 445 for both and i'm gonna be using my real technique my real techniques flat foundation brush to apply my foundation and then you'll see me go over it with a beauty sponge i've been using this technique recently because i feel like sometimes applying your foundation or your makeup with a brush is so much faster so much easier you get to um spread out the product much faster it's just you know you don't have to be worrying about putting makeup on the back of your hand and then like you forget about it it'd be a whole mess so i just use this method and you know it, it makes my foundation my skin look much smoother so this is what i do and then i'm gonna go in right after um after i've done blending out my foundation with the concealer in all the highlighted parts and you should see that as well so normally when i apply my concealer i would blend it out right away but this time around i apply the concealer and i left it on a little bit longer than normal so that it can dry down so that i have a better coverage of concealer and especially underneath my eyes because i've been noticing like i've been getting lack of sleep so i have like bags underneath my eyes it's i mean it's normal we're human but you know you just want to conceal that especially when you want to beat your face and want to do like a full old glam look you know you got to do what you want to do so that, that is what um you're gonna see me do as well and then i tried out a new product y'all ain't gonna believe this i think i've mentioned this before somewhere either here or on instagram about cream bronzers or cream contour i was like i don't really too know about it about how i feel but your girl got into the cream contour okay normally i'll just do like the powder contour as you see that i'm showing here but when i seen that black radiance have the cream palette i said okay let me try this and see what's going on here because i don't really too know but i'm gonna try it out to see what's going on so i'm gonna use a buffing brush by real techniques and i'm gonna dab into the sculpt and the contour shade which is um like a rich brown and a dark brown to contour those cheeks so what I usually like to do is press the product into my skin going in an uh, upward direction because then I feel like I get the most, um, you know, sculpted cheekbones and stuff like that. And then I'll touch up a little bit by my forehead and my jawline area. So I want to make sure that I don't put too much product so that it looks too dark or like I have to go back and, you know, fix it. But if anything, that's a good thing because then your makeup is damp, it's not fully dried yet. So what I do as well, if I put on a little bit too much or if it's too low on my face, I'll go back in with my um, beauty sponge that has the remaining product of foundation. And I just go over those spots to just blend it out, make it all smooth, and we're good to go. So after that, you're going to blend out your concealer and we're gonna move on
Now on to setting the face. This is to set for your highlighted areas and your contoured areas. For the first part, I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier setting powder. And normally I would use a damp beauty sponge for this, but today I decided to use my concealer brush. So I poured out some of the product into the cap and then swirled my brush around, tapped off the excess, and then applied a really, really fine cast of powder underneath my eyes because I wanted to make sure that I covered all those areas without missing a spot so that when I go in the second or third time, it's basically to really highlight underneath my eye. Once I've done highlighting underneath my eye, you'll see me go back around my cupid's bow area, my chin, my forehead, and down my nose. Uh, usually I'll just do the bridge of my nose, but I've noticed I'll cover my entire nose instead so that my whole middle of my face is set and then I'll go back in with the contouring part and just you basically like chisel back out my nose so it looks like if it's a little faded at first don't worry we're gonna bring those, uh, those features back out with the contour powder As you can see, I'm going to go back in with a damp beauty sponge with some more of the setting powder, but this time I'm going to be setting underneath my eye so that when I go back in with my eyeshadows, I don't have any fallout. I'm going to go down the bridge of my nose because now I want a, a very highlighted nose bridge, and then I'm going to hit my smile lines to make sure we don't have any added creasing. This has to be the most favorite part of me doing my makeup, which is basically sculpting my face, contouring my face with the Black Radiance Contour Palette using that middle shade called Sculpt, because that's basically what we're doing. We're going to chisel this face, baby. We're going to bring out them cheekbones, bring out that jawline, 
bring out that nose, okay? We we gonna accentuate our features over here. <laughs> so I'm using a face brush to just tap that product into my skin. I think I went a little bit overboard on this side of my face here because when I started putting on my finishing powder, there's a point where you'll see me look in the mirror and then look at the camera like it was at this moment where I knew I effed up. <laughs> so basically what I did just to correct myself, off camera, I went back in with a little bit of my setting powder and I just carved out the bottom of my cheekbones so that we have more of a sharp line so I could have gotten rid of that dark spot that's between the bottom of my cheekbone and the top of my jawline. You guys should be able to see it but that's how I corrected that so that now you see more of what you're supposed to see than that little dark spot that I had on the side so yeah. By the way, have you clicked that red button down below to subscribe to Makeup by Sunrise? If you haven't already, here's your chance to click that red button as well to click on the post notifications. That little, little bell that's right next to it, go ahead and click that because that notifies you every time I make an upload so you don't want to miss out.
I went ahead and added some brow gel from Maybelline on my eyebrows, a little bit on my lashes just to take off any excess um, eyeliner or powders that were left on my lashes just to get that cleared up. Then I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty mascara to, you know, bring out my lashes before I put on my false lashes. And let me tell you, these lashes I found in the beauty supply store, they look like some expensive ass like luxurious lashes okay and they're only for $3.99 they are from IMV look at these lashes they're so full they're fluffy and I didn't even have to cut the ends of them I just put on the glue and slapped them babies on okay so for the final piece of this makeup look is the lip I'm gonna add on a brown lip liner along with the lip bar matte lipstick in low key and this sets off the entire look it's fire Last but not least, to set my face, I'm going to be using the Extremist Setting Spray that I purchased from the Makeup Museum last year. I love this spray. It has a very, very minty, I believe it's peppermint uh, scent to it. You can use this to set your face, to refresh your makeup throughout the day, or even if you're having a day where you're not wearing makeup and you just did your skincare routine and you want a facial spray just so you know set that off you can spray this on as well it is so good and that is how you create the perfect fall makeup thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate you always make sure you like comment subscribe and share this video with your friends and family and i will see you very very soon bye